Sports Director, Andrew Clay. It will take three more wins for Raging Cajun basketball if the team has hopes of an NCAA tournament berth. The top seeded Louisiana Raging Cajuns began a Sunbelt tournament run in a matinee at the Lakefront Arena facing Texas State, a Bobcats team it beat already twice this season. Bob Marlin recognized before the game as the conference coach of the year. The Cajuns also accepting the regular season Sunbelt trophy, but a tournament title is all that will do. First quarter, it's Frank Bartley. He's driving and putting the Cajuns up 6-5. to five. It starts a 21-7 run to open the game. And that was really the last lead change, folks. Justin Miller off the bench and a little off balance here. He gets it uh, then the fall from the corner. It's Miller time, folks. Four triples in this one. Justin Miller led Louisiana with 11 in the first half. Cajuns led 37-15 at the break. Second half, 20 Cajuns up by 20 on Texas State. The three here by Tyler Blunt giving the Bobcats a little bit of life, but it really wouldn't last long, and, and this one was really over anyways. Off the miss, Marcus Stroman, the pretty pass to Jerikas Davis to put Cajuns up 52-26, and, well, again, it was over. Louisiana advancing the semifinals, being Texas State 80-54. Mike Carter picking up our coverage. In their 80-54 blowout quarterfinals win on Friday, the Cajuns were without the services of the SBC defensive player and newcomer of the year, Jakeen and Gant, for all but three minutes due to illness. Making up for Gant's absence was a big day from Louisiana's bench, coupled with 23 points by Frank Bartley. We feel like we've got the deepest bench in the league, and we knew that we would need him. Jakeenan has been under the weather the last couple days. Uh, Justin started 30 games as a freshman, uh, and he continues to work. And I thought the three-point shot he hit when he leaned in and tried to draw the foul in the first half really gave us some momentum. Everybody stepped up. I mean, Jakeenan was out. And the guy who just stepped up and said hit a couple threes and JD, uh, Jerikas Davis came off the bench and, and played really well for us. And we're going to need that moving forward. We've worked really hard uh, since, since going back to Cuba and and just really putting in a lot of time and effort in, into all of this. And this, this weekend is really just a testimony of what we've been doing all season and all year. And with UT Arlington's win over Appalachian State, the Cajuns will now face off against the Mavericks in the semifinals on Saturday. At Lakefront Arena in New Orleans, Mike Carter, KETC Sports.